Seems like they're prepping for to herd them all in. But they're not in the Capitol, though, right? They're not in the Capitol building, aren't they? In their apartments or houses or condos or whatever they are. What could this be? I can't figure it out. From what I understand, that this is, again, I'm, this is called chatter because I can't, I've only heard it online and I can't back it up with multiple sources. But this whole operation was set up to let them commit treason so they would certify an election that constitutionally cannot be certified. And all of the people that created treason, I, does anybody know how many um, indictments are have been created? There's guys in those vans. Look at this. And it, what's bizarre is all the buses are different, um, different companies. Venture Tours, Flixbus, Newtons. We got Enterprise Trucks. And then we got these really weird buses right here. I've never seen a bus like that. Has any of you? It's different states. Still, isn't it bizarre? Military operations usually are just a bunch of the same thing, right? All right, we've got 539 people looking through my little lens here. Um, all right, let's take a vote. How many of you guys want me to see if I can move around and possibly be um, lose the feed because nobody's bothering me here or should I just stay put and just watch all this activity in front of the Capitol? Military buses, thank you. Closer? Be careful. Thanks a lot. Yes. <laughs> just stay and watch. Stay out. Military transports. Stay. Stay put. All right, I'll, I'll stay put. Thank you guys. I got the feedback. And there's my suspicious white vans that I've been following for two weeks. Well, they were not two weeks. Right when they announced that President Trump used the Insurrection Act, these vans were driving through with two vans, three police cars, two vans, three police cars, two vans, three police cars, and they were all Capitol Police. And they were always moving in groups. Checkmate. <laughs> Get off my lawn. Thank you very much for the donation. I appreciate it. Shane Engler, thank you very much. Keep it up. Yeah, thank you. This is, and there's nobody else here. There's no press. There's nobody standing around me at all with cameras or anything. It's just me. It's a good thing I'm, I'm in with the FBI and they like me. Thank God. Well, I don't know if they like me, but they know that I'm a non-threat. I'm just reporting the news. It's still freedom of speech, though, the best, or the freedom of the press. Even though I haven't got press credentials, I'm still here. I will have press credentials, though. I got a hookup with uh, two different newspapers in North Carolina. They're going to produce stories, and I'm going to get my press credentials, guys, and I'll be on the ground getting past those... Uh, going past the areas that are, you know, getting into the areas that are allowed for press, so I'll be mixing it up. I've already met so many press people. I've been interviewed by, I want to say, now 26 countries, and I did eight interviews a day for 14 days. Like, I'm getting feedback like I'm everywhere. What only thing upsets me is when they use my clips, and they, like, I've got a couple hundred thousand views on some clips that I've done, and they didn't tag me. So everybody just sees a guy with a cowboy hat, and they don't know who I am. It kind of upsets me. But uh, I added 10,000 um, followers to uh, the, my YouTube account, and I'm very pleased to report, and I probably shouldn't even say it out loud, that the YouTube account is still up. And I guess I attribute that to not antagonizing anybody. I just want to hear the truth. I just want to know the truth, like we all do. Liberal, conservative, Democrat, Republican, we want the truth. And it sure as heck looks like the truth is coming out now, doesn't it? Twenty-four minutes of a live feed out here 
So we're coming up on, I guess, 2 o'clock in the morning. Josh is great, too, with Epoch Times. I, I, wanted, I met him at the Stop the Steal rally, and at that time I was just doing Mustangs. I didn't embrace doing uh, this journalism reporting thing until uh, January 7th when I saw Fox News spinning the, the attack on the Capitol and just playing it up and playing it up. And I was walking around the, um, the monument. There was nobody there. It was just me and you know three other people. And they're all saying like, you know, they're saying uh, chaos at the Capitol. Everybody's like, it's, my mother's freaking out. She's assuming I'm under gunfire in Washington, DC. And it was peaceful. So when I saw that spin and I saw the fear of my parents and fake stories, that's what made me decide for everybody, I'm gonna do my best to pursue the truth. And I've been very fortunate to talk to a lot of military people. Um, a lot of government people have been very open with me. I, I guess it's the cowboy hat, I don't know what it is, but Windy City, S standard car, white van, white van, white van, bus, and a big white bus dead Biden voters in the buses. <laughs> yeah, I heard about the blackouts also in Florida. Trump failed everyone. Here we go. Listen, guys, if you don't keep hope until the, the fat lady sings, you know, it's not politically correct to say that anymore, but hold out. Wait for it to end. Do not give up. It's always important to keep hope. Justice will prevail. You know, in my, in my opinion, I serve a mighty God, and uh, I don't think this country is going to be over because the man, the bull in the china shop, is shaking it up for all of us. And from reports of what I heard, the United States became a corporation, and it's going to take President Trump back, back to, like, I don't know, 17th, eight, I can't remember the number, 18th president or something, because it, we've been a corporation for a long period of time, and uh, now we're going back to a republic, I believe, is what I'm hearing. This is a hard, I knew that this was gonna be a historic time, and I think that's why I chose to stay. I mean, I came here for a two-day trip, and uh, this is my 15th day, starting this morning. Oh, we do have one press guy here, check it out. There you go, there's one guy with a camera. So he, see, he sees something going on. It's amazing that I'm the only one out here. I just can't even believe this. Again, the buildings are, that's the, uh, there we go, they're moving quicker now. 768 people through live feed, very cool, very cool. Spread the word, guys. Let's, uh, let's get as many people as we can to see the activity. This is, uh, I, here, I'll, I'll act like CNN. Breaking news, Mustang Medic style. The exclusive report at the Capitol at 1.30 in the morning in Washington, D.C. Reporting, we only want the truth. I'll do my tagline, too. What, what, what was the tagline? <laughs> uh, whoops. My car almost ran into the bus. Looks like they're starting to dissipate. And I got it. Uh, I can't tell if the bus is empty. It's, it's tinted out windows. I, I'm assuming it's empty, but maybe they're loading them in that bus. I don't know. Go to bed. <laughs> I did awesome. Thank you. I appreciate the positive words. We have to be uplifters of each other. We have to. We, there's too much negativity in the world. More troop movement. Hopefully you're not coming for me. Now, everybody's been great. All the, all, all the uh, Capitol Police, the FBI, the Secret Service, I've talked to many people, even, even the reporters, except for that CNN reporter, he was kind of hostile, but I'm in front of camera. Lord, what are they gonna do to my interview? What are they gonna do? If they don't use Mustang Medic, I'm gonna be pretty upset, more true movement. Yep, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk down here and see if I can see if they're getting on that bus. No, no, I think they're walking past the bus. 
They're going into the Capitol. They're not going to the bus. They're, they are going in towards the Capitol. Look at this, this is amazing. Is this not amazing? I am so glad that I got the heck out of bed. Thank you, Douglas White, again. Thank you for your donation. Oh, you got a question. Did you see the protesters in front of the Comet Pla P Pizza? Comet Pizza earlier tonight. The police were there and allowing it. They had repent signs and more on Twitter. No, I didn't see that. I have been, like, putting myself in different locations. You know, there's a lot of homeless out here, guys, too. We've got to find a way to take care of them. It's just, it's so damn cold out here. I can't imagine uh, being homeless uh, in D.C. right now. My, uh, give me a thumbs up if the camera's still working, please. Uh-oh, wait a minute. Is the camera working? Is the camera working? Yes, okay, thank you. What the heck is going on here? Who are these people? Who are these people? Is that, is that press? Is that press? SWAT? No, it's not SWAT. They're not all, they're not all, they're not all in uniform. It is very interesting, is it not? Look at this group of people. Thank you for your donation, Kit. Kit Water Music. Is this not wild? I cannot believe nobody else is out here reporting it. It's just little old me. The, the 1,100 of us that are watching this right now are just a small part of a, of a 330 million people. Aliens. <laughs> Antifa. Is this not weird? What are these people doing? I am so fascinated by what's going on. Troop movement. Uh, what I'm doing is legal, right guys? Thank you, Brent. This is a legal thing I'm doing, right? This isn't legal. Am I getting myself in trouble? False flag actors, interesting. Oh, could you imagine if we're catching that right now? Can, can you guys record this so I don't lose any of this stuff? Mustang Medic, Mustang Medic, Mustang Medic. We got to, we're up to 1,300 people again. Thanks for the $72, guys. I'll buy, I'll buy myself a pair of gloves. <laughs> Calm before the storm. Yep, Stacy Woods, I, I saw that. Yep. What the heck is going on? I would, guys, if I had if I had a 12, I'd be giving you a better picture. They're waiting to go in. There they go. Check an ID. What the hell could this be? walk with them they're going behind the security gate i can't walk with them crisis actors what are who are these people guys am i doing something really dangerous right now i'm starting to feel like i am walk with them stop it i'm not gonna walk with them i i boy, we're gonna handle my id and just walk in is that what you're saying you guys are ready to sacrifice me thanks a lot isn't it weird 
They seem to be all white guys. Right? Am I right? Go ask. You know what? You guys crack me up. Go ask. Stop it. All right, I might be get, I might be getting myself in trouble here. Would you guys stop saying them go ask them? Zoom in. Well, you guys are bossy over there. How's that? That's army. Is this legal what I'm doing? Uh-oh, exactly. I don't know if this is... Thank you, uh, Martin, for your donation. And then we've got the lone guy dressed in black with a backpack walking. I know what you're going to say. I knew you were going to say zoom in, Bonnie. Tell me this is not suspicious. 1,500 people watching this lens. I don't know. They were cutting around to the front of the Capitol. They, they, they didn't... Uh, They were, hang on, I'm trying to zoom in, I'm freezing. Um, what is she doing? They went around that street, <coughs> and then they went left towards the Capitol building. Guys, I'm getting a little freaked out, man. I'm telling you, this is, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm the only one here. Somebody tell me this is legal, will you? That I'm what I'm doing. So you're right. They didn't check that guy's ID. That was interesting. Don't leave. Yeah. Thanks a lot, DMT. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. Here comes another bus. Can't tell if there's anybody in the bus. Blacked out windows, limo, limo tent. Look at this, guys, look at this. What is this about? They've got lanyards. I'm getting a little freaked out here. I feel like I actually might be in, da in danger at this moment. Ask them, will you guys stop telling me to ask them? I'm not, I haven't got media credentials. I can't just run up. I find, what I find the most odd about this video right now that I'm shooting for 1,700 people, if you guys want to donate to Mustang Medic so my kids and I have a place to live and I might need lawyer's fees, I'd appreciate some donations from you guys. Thank you, thank you, Rochelle. Thank you for the motivation. I, you know, you guys that all hook up Josh, you know, I'm not, I'm not jealous, but I don't think Josh even gets from uh, Epic Times gets this kind of video. Does he? Who gets this kind of video? There is no media here doing this, showing this. That's what's freaking me out and making me feel like I could be in trouble. So, oh, thank you so much for the donation of, of $100. I, every donation is appreciated. Lauren Buck, thank you so much for uh, doing that for me because straight up I'm about to I'm gonna sound like somebody that Trump makes fun of our president makes fun of I got to move out of my parents house and I'm 56 years old I'm divorced so this is now my new career so I'm basically trying to build my career off of videoing this stuff for you guys so I'm very grateful for every donation from five dollars to 100 to whatever you want to donate it's I'm very grateful and it's gonna help me get to continue to do this work and uh, 
you know, I'm, I'm doing it. I mean, I'm showing what's really happening and what the news is not covering. There is no news here. NBC's not here. CNN walked away. And we got a whole bunch of people going into the Capitol at 3 in the morning. I'm pretty glad everybody's ignoring me here. Oh. No, the white vans have been empty. The white vans have been empty. It's your birthday. Here comes that car. It's going to go right in front of my camera. Get ready. Here we go. What's that about, guys? What is that about? What is that about? What do you think that's about? American flags on a, on a Cadillac. They got out with their coffees, completely ignoring me, and are walking in. Is this pretty hot, guys? 4,000 people watching right now. Guys, straight up. I've been a non-essential worker for like a year and I am trying to support my girls and become a journalist in like two weeks and I think I'm getting really historic stuff. So if you guys would donate a little bit of money to me to support me and continue to do, I kind of feel like I'm risking my life right now. I'd be very grateful if like, if all of you gave me 10 bucks, that would be amazing at 4,000 viewers, 4,100. This is the cap. Thank you. Thank you. Duke, Duke, thank you again uh, for two uh, donations of $100, Duke. Very generous, and I really appreciate that. And my 15-year-old daughter and my 14-year-old daughter, Sarah and Rachel, appreciate that too. This car is freaking me out. Does anybody have an opinion on this car? Thank you, Jasmine, uh, Jasmine Cox. Does anybody have an opinion on this? Thank you, Stash. What is this car about? What is this car about, you think? What could be going on? This is amazing. I really think I am, I'm, I am the only person out here filming. There's no press anywhere. We got some kind of Cadillac limo here with American flags on the hood coming out. Who's got a who's got an idea of what's going on here? Does anybody have an idea? Looks like a normal mafia car with flags. Oh, you crack me up. I don't know who they are. They got a driver. They got out of the back. He's looking at me, and nobody uh, is telling me to go away right now. Is this legal, guys? Would somebody tell me that, please? I feel I've been out and working a while. Yeah, deep fried. Ohio Gravy, thank you very much, uh, lovely lady, for the uh, donation. Thank you, Raquel J. Uh, uh, large paw, I like your uh, your key image, very nice, Donald Trump. And R. Heath, again, $49 or $50 donation, I really am very grateful, guys. Of course, back to Duke, you know, for your two donations. We're very, very, very grateful. I'm staying up for the duration. Are you? <laughs> yeah, well, Duke, you keep doing donations like that. You know, I'll freeze my butt off and stay up all night for you. <laughs> I, we just got to motivate the other uh, 4,500 uh, people watching to do the same. And I will be set for a year just digging in with my, uh, my press passes. So. Any uh, any uh, generosity you guys can have in my situation, I'd be thank you, Paula. I would be very grateful. I've been practicing asking for money. How am I doing? Am I doing good, guys? I think I'm doing pretty well. Bus. What is going on here? 
I am fascinated by that car. I don't know why. It's on like Donkey Kong, guys. It's going down. It's going down for real. This is the United States Capitol. At what time is it right now, Eastern Time, guys? I can't, I don't have a watch on. I lost my Apple Watch. That was $350, it just went away. Uh, I'm freezing my butt off. I wanna find a place to put this camera down so I can put my gloves on. Here comes another bus, escorted by a police car. Don't say my kids' names. You guys, what you guys don't know about me, the 4,500 people, because you guys are tuning in on a live stream, I'm Mustang Medic. It's not really hard to find out where I am because just Google me. I've been doing this for nine years, videoing my entire life. So it's kind of a walk with God. And uh, I just prayed. It's 3.45 in the morning. Uh, good thing I bought this $30 battery pack or I'd be dark right now walking home. 4,600 people on a live feed. We're at 37 minutes. Um, thousand dollars worth of donations thank you guys thousand dollars and five thank you <laughs> uh, i'd like to use my sense of humor uh, s j uh, sun printing thank you very much for your donation katie uh, horton thank you uh jasmine cox uh, thank you uh, uh jackson uh styles thank you very much for your generous donation appreciate you guys all right just more and more people going in that that weird looking car with the flags is gone more people entering through this back entrance behind the capitol they know who i am and uh, i've talked to the fbi they've been in my parents house because of the videos i'm shooting and i'm still here guys for freedom and what's weird is i had a feeling and i'm not a superstitious person you know being a, a christian not really you don't see too many superstitious christians but i felt like i was never going to come back as i was coming out here on the sixth i'm not saying i'm going to be brought back in a box or anything i mean you know life can change but i don't know if i'm supposed to be if i can afford it i would stay in washington dc to seek the truth like this because the fact that i'm out here and there's no mainstream media where people are getting paid a couple hundred grand a year to sit out there with a microphone in front of a camera. And I'm just out here with my phone videoing something that's not being seen by anyone. And this is a news story um, that's historic. I knew it was gonna be a historic time. And uh, I go by the grace of God. Jay Collins, thank you for your donation. Thank you for your two donations today. I really appreciate the support. My girls, thank you. Yeah, if you Google Busting Medic, you know about my family, you know about all that stuff. I am definitely gonna have to move though, I think. I am moving. Um, and my parents are probably gonna have to sell their house at this rate. What about, what about my money, please? What does that do? do with your money what you please? Thank you, thank you for that. More buses. Thank you, Nick. Five thousand forty-two people. All right, everybody, give me ten bucks. All five thousand of you. Donate 10 bucks, please. And I'm set for the year. Please. And if I don't make it back and I'm in a box, at least my girls will have some money. That'd be great. I got divorced. You know why I got divorced? Because my wife was cheating on me with an FBI agent for four and a half years during my 17 year marriage. And lo and behold, I told that story to an FBI agent. He was looking at me cross-eyed and I thought about it. I said that story so many times. And I, I said to her, I go, why'd you do it? Why did you cheat on me with an FBI agent for four and a half years during my marriage? You know, she said the worst possible answer a wife that's cheating on a man could say, and it's nothing sexual. She said he was good at hiding things. <laughs> 
Is that terrible? I thought that was terrible. This is absolutely incredible to me. Talk about a mass mobilization going on right now. I got a good, good, very good feeling that President Trump is knocking it out of the park. I think right now what we are witnessing on video via Mustang Medic, okay? Spread the word on Mustang Medic, please. I think we are witnessing America changing. I think what we are witnessing here is finally justice is going to prevail. President Trump has done it. Thank you, Christine uh, Hellman, for your donation. I appreciate that. I think that the, I think that we are witnessing the rebirth of America, and it's all going down.